In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to create a full image backup of your computer to an iSCSI target on your network using Backup Assist System Protection. This will allow for a full recovery of your entire system in the case of a system failure or the restore of individual files in the case of accidental deletion. Today, we'll be using our QNAP NAS as our iSCSI target. So let us begin. In this example, we're going to back up a Microsoft Hyper-V server. Should your computer be a physical Windows server or a desktop, it should work the same. The first step is to launch Backup Assist. You're presented with the home page. On the Backup tab, click Create a New Backup Job. Then click System Protection button to start the System Protection Wizard. This option will create an image of your system that can be used to perform a full recovery of your computer. If this is the first time you've created a job, you will be asked to provide a backup user. Why is that? That's because backup jobs, by their very nature, require a Windows user account with permission to read the data sources and full read-write access to the backup destination. Should your account not have sufficient permission, the backup job will not complete successfully. I've already got an account called Administrator set up, so I'll just fill it in. If you don't have a backup user and you're more interested to complete this setup process, select Use Your Local System Login, which just uses a built-in system account. Just bear in mind, it normally has restricted permissions levels, which could cause your backups to fail. Click the Next button to verify that your backup user identity works. Click the OK button to complete. Remember to select Critical Volumes because it is required for a bare metal backup. A bare metal backup can be used to recover your computer after hardware has been replaced or an operating system failure has occurred and your computer can no longer start itself. There is also the option to back up other data volumes. If business applications such as Hyper-V Guests, Exchange, or a SQL Server are present on your server, they will also show up here. We'll use the default and recommended Full VSS mode and click Next. Click on the iSCSI icon. The Data Container option is not recommended for iSCSI targets. Click the Next button. You will need to select the scheme that best fits your needs. For this video, we will be using a daily backup scheme that automatically runs the backup once a day from Monday to Friday. The default time is 10 p.m. You can change that here. If you want to change the days your backup runs, then you will need to edit the job after this wizard completes. Now that we've completed the backup schedule, let's proceed to set up your iSCSI target. Click the Next button. This step requires that you've already set up your NAS as an iSCSI target. Enter the iSCSI portal name or IP address directly into the portal field. In this case, we've specified ours as BAQNAP. Click Search to fetch a list of targets available on the specified portal. Select the desired target from the list of targets shown. We've only got one. To keep the backup safe, we've chosen the default to Disconnect from the target at the completion of each backup process. If you've set up CHAP security for your iSCSI target, you may enter the authentication details here. We've not done so in this example. Before attempting to perform a backup to an iSCSI target, you must test the connection, and if required, Backup Assist will initialize the target. Click OK when the test is successful. If not, verify your iSCSI setup and retest the connection. Click Next to complete your media preparation. Give the job a meaningful name. Verify the settings look correct. Crypto Safeguard is designed to toughen your backups against crypto-based ransomware. Then click Next to finish setting up your backup job. The Recover Assist Builder creates a standalone bootable media that can be stored on a CD or a USB thumb drive. This CD or thumb drive helps you start the computer system when your computer can no longer start itself after a hardware or operating system failure. 
Once started, Recover Assist allows you to use your system protection backup and recover your computer to its last good state. You can launch it here or from the Recover tab on the left panel. For this video, we'll skip this step. Click Finish to complete. Congratulations on setting up your iSCSI backup job with Backup Assist. You have now successfully created your system protection backup to an iSCSI target. If you have any questions, please email support at backupassist.com or visit our online help portal. Thank you for watching this Backup Assist instructional video.